Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I will be showing here in this video why is it important to have good filtration on your diesel engine. Usually refineries, uh, you know, when they deliver the fuel to these uh, fuel trucks, uh, they usually have a lot of microns, a lot of uh, uh, dirt, a lot of small particles, paint that goes into their trucks. And they, those trucks deliver the fuel to these uh, fuel stations. And that's actually the, the dirty fuel that you put into your uh, fuel tanks. So it's important to have good fuel, and plus, you know, good filtration, uh, so this engine can last long. Here I'm gonna be showing uh, the fuel is just being drained out from a primary filter. Here I already went and uh, changed out the uh, filter. This is the old filter, uh, primary filter. I changed it about 30 days ago. So here I'm just gonna be checking the quality of fuel that we've been getting lately. Here I have a drain pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain the uh, fuel that we placed in it. Uh, so you can check, you know, what kind of fuel we get from our uh, supplier. So as you can already see, you have small particles of metal. Uh, you can see them. Um, it's eventually, it's <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, these filters uh, are very uh, good filters. These are uh, filters are by Donaldson. Uh, the uh, trap a lot of microns, a lot of particles on the filter. Usually uh, they work at their best when the level reaches at about this high. It even says on the filter, it says uh, best efficient uh, uh, change filter when fuel reaches this level. It says it's on top. You can see it right here. That's when it captures the most microns. And really, I mean, these uh, refineries are really selling us uh, very, very bad quality of fuel. So what I'm gonna suggest here is uh, suggest to the company is to uh, grab more samples uh, and send them out to get tested. We might change the fuel provider, but it's really important to uh, change these filters uh, every 90 days uh, on their PM dates. Uh, try not to uh, uh, leave them for that for longer because all this, all these small particles of metal that are here. You could go into the tips of the injectors and actually damage. That's how they uh, usually uh, break. So here, once again, that's the fuel that's coming out the primary filter. Uh, this stuff usually stays here, and uh, it either stays here or it passes on to the second uh, secondary filter that's under the truck. Um, you could barely see it down there. Usually, uh, whatever does uh, this filter doesn't capture, the second one does capture it and make sure it doesn't go into our uh, fuel injection uh, to the injectors.